In this presentation, we will discuss the memorizing reports options, starting with setting up a new report group, a location where we can memorize or store our memorized reports within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you're going to go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. We now are going to look at the memorizing reports options. We've discussed the button, how to memorize reports a few times. Let's first look at that and then we'll discuss where we memorize the reports to. We would like to set up a custom location to have those reports. Where do, where do they go? Where do we go to get them? And how can we set up a custom location to put them? So first, let's take a look at a report by going to the balance sheet, going back to our company and financial and going to the trustee balance sheet standard. So the balance sheet standard. And we're going to go and change the uh, date to 123119. Now, if we did anything to this report that's worth seeing, worth saving, then we can memorize this report with this memorize item here. So before we do that, we first want to go through and set up a location. Think if we can, where's that going to go? Let's set up a current location. Then we'll talk more about the memorizing options that we can do to memorize actual reports. So to think about that, we're going to go to the reports and reports center. So we'll go to reports, drop down reports center. And the memorized reports are going to be in this standard on the tabs up here. We're usually defaulting to the standard tab. We then are going to go to the Memorized tab. So we're going to go to the Memorized tab. And remember that every time you go back, if you use this, this Report Center often, I usually only use it for the Memorized reports because oftentimes if I'm using anything in the Standard tab, I just use the drop-down reports and then use these drop-downs. It's easier for me to navigate those normal reports. And so the Memorized reports, I, I go here or you can also find them here in the Memorized reports items. So just remember that if you use this reports center often, you got to make sure that you're on the correct tab or you'll get a little lost when you go here. I'm going to make this full screen by selecting this item. And what we want to do now is add a memorized list. I want to be able to group my memorized reports in some, some kind of custom area rather than the defaults that we have listed on the left here. To do that, we're going to go to the add memorize list say add memorize list and these are the lists that were on that default side on the left side and I want to add some more to them also note before we do so that if these reports are not something that are, are helpful to you then you could click on these reports and delete them so delete the memorized reports and then you can kind of clean out the memorized reports to just those that are most useful to you instead of having too much clutter within the memorized reports so we're going to go down to memorize reports down here and it's a drop up so it's going to drop up down and then we're going to it's going to drop up not down and then we're going to add a uh, memorized new group so i want to add a new group and then we're just going to name that group we could name it whatever we want if we just name it you know i'm going to put a name here to name the group you could uh, name it whatever grouping that makes sense for the types of reports that you will be taking a look at. It might be year-end reports. It might be reports that are variants on the balance sheet reports or variants on uh, various other standard reports. That could be one ways that or a couple ways <laughs> that you could think about how to group those reports. So this will just be an example of a grouping type. If you have multiple different users, then naming the reports by these are my reports versus someone else's reports is a useful way. If you're the only user of the of the software, then of course, you may want to group it by relevance to you. What type of report are you using? What's the easiest way to get back to that report that, that you're going into? And it might be by time period. These are my month end reports. These are my quarterly reports or these are my payroll reports. These are my standard financial reports. So we're going to say OK in this case. And there we have it now smith is down here because it's in order by alphabetical order so within this category it'll be in order in alphabetical order if your name is something other than smith and starts with an a or something it'll be up top rather than down here now i'm going to close this out and we're back in memorized reports and we don't see it here yet 
because there's nothing in that in that setting. So if I like if I click on one of these on the side window, I'm in report center now, memorize reports. If I click on any of these, of course, we have reports within them. There's nothing in the Smith report yet, and therefore uh, it's not showing up on the sidebar window. But we know it is there because if we go to the edit memorize list, then we'll we'll see it. It's still here. So it just has no no nothing included in it yet. So I'm going to close this back out. And then if we were to go to the balance sheet we report, we won't save it this time. We'll talk more about how to save it in the next presentation. But if we go to that balance sheet, just for demonstration in the open windows, and we then select the memorize, now we have some options in terms of where do we want to put it. We have the name, we have the save in memorize report group. I'm going to say I want to save it in a special group. Otherwise, it's going to kind of default to where it thinks it should go into the balance sheet group. And we're going to save the, this one then to Smith, and we would save it there. And we have that option now. Once doing that, we can close this out and then have our special group of reports. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.